Now let us do second question on two hinged stiffening girder. So the second numerical is the two hinged girder of a suspension bridge has a span of 100 meters, the dip of the supporting cable being 10 meters. So the total value of small l is given as 100 meters and the dip means the value of small h is given as 10 meters. If the girder is subjected to two point loads 200 kN and 400 kN at distances of 20 meters and 80 meters from the left end, find the shear force and bending moment for the girder at 25 meters from the left end and also find the maximum tension in the cable. So this question is similar to the previous question. The only difference is that the external loading has changed. So first of all, we will convert the external loading into equivalent UDL and we know that equivalent UDL is equal to the summation of the point loads and this divided by the total span. So the summation of the point loads is 200 plus 400, 600 this divided by the total span of the girder is 100. So WE will come out to be 6 kN per meter. From this value, we can find out the value of V and H. So V will be equal to WEL by 2. V is the vertical reaction and H is the horizontal thrust and H can be calculated by this formula WEL square by 8H which will come out to be 750 kN. Now we know that the maximum tension in the cable P max is equal to under root V square plus H square. Just put the values we will get the value of maximum tension in the cable as 808 kN. So now we have to find out the values of shear force and bending moment at 25 meters from the left end. So, see. So now let's continue with the bending moment. So this is the question. In this girder, two point loads are acting at distances of 20 meters and 80 meters from the left hand. So this 200 kilonewton is acting at a distance of 20 meters from the left hand, and 400 kilonewton meter is acting at a distance of 80 meters from the left hand. The total distance is 100 meters. So if this is 80 meters, this will be 20 meters. Now, we know the formula of bending moment at any section. The formula is beam moment minus h into y. So first of all, we need to find out the beam moment and then we need to find out the values of h and y. See, so we have to find out the value of the bending moment at x equal to 25 meters. Now we know the equation of y for parabola is 4hx upon l square into l minus x. So just put the value of x equal to 25, we will get the value of y for x equal to 25 meters. So after putting the values, the value of y will come out to be 7.5 meters. Now we also need the value of tan theta in order to find out the shear force. So I have also calculated the value of tan theta here only. So tan theta is equal to dy by dx. So dy by dx of this equation will be 4h by l square into l minus 2x. After putting the values, the value will come out to be 0.2. Now, see. Now, we need to find out the values of Va and Vp. So the values of the reactions can be found out by applying the equilibrium equations. So the first equilibrium equation will be summation of all the vertical forces will be equal to zero. See, in this question, I have not uh, shown uh, the application of the equilibrium equations. I have just calculated the values. But in but you will have to do all the calculations. So if I apply summation vertical equal to zero, that is total upward force is equal to total downward force. So total upward force is VA plus VB. So VA plus VB, this will be equal to total downward forces 200 plus 400, that is 600. So we can take this equation as equation number one. Now we will apply the second equilibrium equation, which is summation of a moment about any point equal to zero. So suppose this point is A, this point is B. So I'm going to take the moment about A point equal to zero. So I'm going to take clockwise moment positive and anti-clockwise moment ne uh, negative. So 200 will take A point in the clockwise direction. So for clockwise, we will take 200 as positive. 
so the force is 200 and the perpendicular distance of 200 from a point is 20 so this will be 200 into 20 okay now the second force is 400 and its distance is 80 from a and this 400 will also take a point in the clockwise direction so for clockwise we will take positive the load is 400 and its perpendicular distance is 80 meters now let's take see the next force so the next force is vb uh, see this vb will produce an anti-clockwise bending moment about point a and for anti-clockwise we are going to take minus so minus vb into perpendicular distance of vb from a point is vb from a point is this total span is 100 so this 100 this equal to 0 so i have written directly over here so after solving this equation the value of vb will come out to be 360 and after finding out the value of vb i can put the value of vb in equation number one and we can find out the value of va which will come out to be 240 kilonewtons now we have to find out the bending moment at x equal to 25 meters so bending moment at any section in a two hinge stiffening girder is equal to beam moment minus hy so we know the value of h we know the value of y it is 7.5 meters we just need to find out the value of the beam moment so we have to find out the beam moment at a section of x equal to 25 meters so the section is at a distance of 25 meters in the question it is given that the section is at a distance of two is at a distance of 25 meters from the left support so we are going to take this sign convention sagging bending moment will be positive and hogging bending moment will be negative so this is your left moment this is your right moment this is your left moment and this is your right moment so now we need to find out the bending moment at this section so either we can take the left part of the section or we can take the right part of the section so we are going to take the left part of the section so if you see the left part of the section there are two forces VA and 200 so the value of VA is 240 so this VA will take this section in the clockwise direction so if the left moment is clockwise the bending moment is positive so this will be plus so the force is 240 and the perpendicular distance from the section is 25 meters so into 25 now the next force is 200 so this force will take this section in the anti-clockwise direction and if the left moment is anti-clockwise the bending moment is negative so this will be minus the force is 200 and this perpendicular distance will be see this total is 25 if this is 20 this will be 25 minus 20 that is 5 so 200 into 5 so this will give you beam moment as 5000 kilonewton meter now putting the value in this formula beam moment minus hy i will get the value of bending moment as minus 625 kilonewton meter now we need to find out the value of the shear force at this section only so the section is at a distance of 25 meters okay so we know the formula of shear force the the value of the formula to find out the shear force at any section is equal to beam shear minus h tan theta we already know the value of h we have calculated the value of tan theta we just need to find out the value of the beam shear and the beam shear can be calculated by this formula so see the section is here at a distance of 25 meters from the left support so the shear force at this section will be equal to the summation of forces either to the left part of the section or to the right part of the section so i am taking the left part of the section and uh, the sign convention which uh, we are going to use is this type of sign convention the, the uh, see this type of shear force is will be positive and uh, this type of shear force will be negative so if you see this section va is acting in the upward uh, upward direction so if the left force is upward the shear force is positive so plus two, uh, 240 200 is acting in the downward direction if the left force is downward shear force is, ne is negative therefore 200 will be negative so the beam shear will be equal to 240 minus 200 that is 40 kilonewtons therefore just put the values in this equation 
so therefore shear force at x equal to uh, equal to 25 meters will be equal to beam shear minus s tan theta beam shear is coming out to be 40 minus s tan theta is coming out to be this so the total value will come out to be minus 110 kilonewtons 